sometimes when we are camping at beautiful places like this, we don't really get to enjoy them because we're always off doing things and trying to see the area. So this time in Delaware, while we are gonna go do more adventuring tomorrow, today we have been chilling here at Lums Pond State Park. We're gonna take a nice hike around the pond right now and then go back for a campfire and some dinner and just enjoy ourselves. So this is the Swamp Forest Trail. It is actually goes all the way around the pond and it's like six and a half miles long. I don't think we're doing the whole six and a half miles today, but look how pretty it is. Look at that. Check out all this firewood. I want to throw that thing in the, in, in the campfire. That would this make would for, for a very long, we, we would be gone by the time that was done. The state park even has two yurts that you can rent. How cool is that? I've never stayed in a yurt. I kind of want to try it. It is the next day after our walk. It started raining while we were walking around the pond yesterday, so we just chilled out for a bit. Now, we just finished up with the gym, which is right behind me. We're gonna go check out some of Newcastle, starting with the Newcastle Farmer's Market. You ready? Yup. <laughs> so this Farmer's Market is inside and open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Steve got a souvenir. I needed a new belt for like two years. It's his is falling apart. Yeah. So it so. has eagles. Can yep. you see that? There's an eagle head. Where somewhere. is it? There it is. You can see the one on the very end. And it's pure leather, and they cut it to size just for him. Yep. Very cool. Fantastic. Okay. I don't let's often keep get souvenirs at places like this. No. I'll use take more of the strength though. Mm. Let's keep exploring. For once, I got more at a place like this than Courtney did. He did, he got his new belt, which is super cool. New belt and some made toffee, for him. and some toffee. Yeah, homemade One toffee. of those I needed, the other I just wanted. But there's I'll let you guess which. so much there, it's so awesome. Oh yeah, from meat, seafood, produce. Oh. Pastries from Pastries. Oh my Lancaster gosh. County, the uh, Pennsylvania Dutch, amazing. 
And now we're gonna charge somebody for our spot, but not really. <laughs> Next stop on our tour of Newcastle, tacos. We haven't been to a taco place in a very long time. And you know how we love tacos. Courtney's having a hard time with the napkins, so she's just taking it apart. Because that's what you do. Look at all the tacos. We got birria and barbacoa and al pastor and spicy pork and tinga chicken. Sorry. Sprinkle some lime over the top, as well as some on the table. Makes it better. So these guys here are so awesome. They brought us lamb, um, lamb stew. Lamb consomme, which is their specialty, and it was for free. And, and then they just brought out a churro, also for free. We did not order this, but now we got it. This food. That is impressive. This is top top three we've ever had of tacos. And that's coming from two Arizona. It's so good. It's incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. When they say spicy, though, they mean it. Let me have Steve explain. It was so hot, that taco pouring in sweat. I had to get a horchata just to cool my mouth down. This is amazing too, by the way. Usually at restaurants, especially Mexican restaurants, when they say, just to warn you, this is spicy, it's like, eh. you know, I could do this standing on my head, but this is actually hot. But delicious. Really hot, but really good. Now I'm gonna dive into this churro. Fantastic. After a delicious lunch of tacos, and I mean delicious, top taco place, really, that, um, Truckee, California, and Idaho Springs have been our favorite taco places in all of our travels. We are now in Old Town, Newcastle. Very cool. I think this is the courthouse. Look at that bed and breakfast. How cool. can see some of the old cobblestone streets. I think some of the streets are still fully cobblestone. This one's been paved except for the sides. Near here. These little mini islands are actually icebreakers or ice piers. They were set up in the early 1800s to break up the ice when the river would freeze over to allow wooden ships to still come to Newcastle's harbor. And if Philadelphia's harbor froze completely, Newcastle was the backup. Pretty cool. Meanwhile, this is the Delaware River. I don't know if we mentioned that. And that over there is the Delaware Memorial Bridge, which will take you between Delaware and New Jersey. So that's Jersey over there? Jersey's over there. Look at this garden with the Delaware River right there and all the flowers in bloom. So pretty. Steve was trying to take a picture of the kitty and the kitty wanted to get pets instead and is rubbing up against him now. Oh, hello. It's a very friendly kitty. Apparently he made a friend. I think I got the picture. No, he came running right up to you. Take two. Oh, nope, as soon as he's down, the kitty starts coming over to him. <laughs> he has a collar, so he's not a stray. No, he's, he belongs to one of these houses. Some kitty petting time. Oh, okay. I got you on that.
tulips are in bloom. Can't pass up that red color, my goodness. Meanwhile, walking these streets in historic Newcastle is like walking back in time. Here are some of the cobblestone streets that are still here. The church was erected in 1703, and there's a graveyard associated with it. This is the thing I love about photography. We're, we're out here in the middle of a city, and there's so many different things from architecture like this to flowers to the cemetery and each shot I mean you have to think of it a little bit differently about how you can get creative so you're not just getting the same shots that everyone else gets sometimes it's like finding a new angle maybe getting down on your knees or something it's always different and when you get to be out like this with a variety of different things to shoot it keeps you off balance it's not boring it's fun yeah it's fun so that's it for our quick tour of historic Newcastle. We have one more stop before we head back to the Airstream. It has something to do with imbibing and delicious cerveza. <laughs> yeah, it's a brewery. <laughs> Ending the day off right. We're done. I like the coffee beer. I love coffee just in general, and we had a really nice one here. It's almost like the one I had in Astoria last year. Oh, that was fantastic. This one was really close. And that's it? No, so that's it. I think we're heading to Philadelphia area next. Yeah, tomorrow. So yes. one last night here in Delaware and then we're heading out. So we will see you then. It's like mid 70s and there's no sun, but actually no sun is nice when there's humidity. So I like this. I like this weather. All right, let's go.